Hello everybody, welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Viva. And it's kind of a little bit of a night off, but I could see you asking in the chat, do you think it's a bourbon? Shh, yes it is, but it'll be on Thursday. <laughs> um, so, a little bit of housekeeping. How is everyone? Who's in? I can see that Lucky's in. Melissa, I'm Melissa. King Jack, all the hardcore. Whiskey Histories. Who's Whiskey Histories? I didn't see that one before. Hi, Whiskey Histories. Aaron, Paul. Hey, Paul's in. Brendan, Scotch Buggy, Rob Gilmore. Nice to see everybody. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we'll have a little bit more of a chat, but we never put the Mortlac in the position on the shelf. <laughs> I kind of wavered, so I thought we'd have a little lineup and just a double little double check. Why don't you taste something? We're going to do a bit of uh, whiskey mail because something has come in the post. And between us, we've got to pick some new blind bottles because... I can taste. Yeah, you can taste. Because if we look at the spreadsheet, we've, we've got all the way down to... Where are we? 97. So we're, we're, below, we're below 100. So it's time to add 20 more bottles to the blind taste. That little graph at the bottom, by the way, is... Um, I just wanted to see what how the ABV distribution was. <laughs> and this is here, a couple of 40s, 43s, a block of 46s, and then you get all this staggering all the way up to, pretty sure that is Booker's or something. At the, no, maybe not Booker's. Anyway, so, um, whiskey, let's do first impression on the whiskey. What do you think of that one? It's not bad. Barley. Barley? Mmm, yummy. The series, mm. sweet in this green. Mm. Oh, quite strong. Okay, what about this one? I don't know. That's a fuller. I know what they are, but Deepa doesn't. I could probably tell you, but she might hear. I prefer this more, but it's funny now. I okay. I sort of, uh, so you're preferring number one at the moment. Mm, very oily. Mmm. Mmm. Very different. It's more farmy. I think it's more pot wine, bourbon, it's bourbon. Yeah. Okay. Close your eyes for a minute. I'm not sure. The first one. I'm just going to tell them what's happening. Uh, okay. <laughs> This one is Craig Elicky. Deep is not lip reading. If I talk fast, she won't understand. And this one is another Mortlac, which is in a sherry cask. Okay. <laughs> Just a bit of fun. Yeah, off you go. How's everyone doing? Whiskey Histories, it's the first time you caught the live. Nice. Yeah, we thought we'd do this Tuesday evening one to try and catch a, a different group. Alarun, first time here. Should be fun. Well, thanks for coming along. And Tim is in as well. Have you added the Ben Roma cask strength batch one I sent? Interesting you say that, Tim. What we're going to do a little later is I've got 25 bottles in here. Oh. And one of yours is in there, I think, Tim. I'm pretty sure I put that Ben Romac in. And so... If we get that up the bill. Not yet. So we're going to ask people to do some picking. Um, but first, remember remember in the middle of our Isla Barley shootout where I'd put in that um, Springbank local barley, thinking it was going to blow everything away? Do you remember? I'll give you a little update. Number four. That can't be right. Faint lemon? I forgot about that. Local barley, Tim? No. no. Local barley. <laughs> that was supposed to be local barley. Okay, go on. You have a taste. Is that enough? I can't believe that. 
<laughs> okay. So, um, as we were shooting that, a box arrived. <laughs> And uh, pretty nicely packed. Oh, when we can. I had. <laughs> I had ordered. Actually, to be honest, I was out searching for the new Isla Barley. Uh, sorry, local barley, ten-year-old, to see if it had come to the US yet, and they still haven't arrived. And while I was searching, that one popped up. I thought, oh, I'll order that. Uh, it was a pretty good price, about 160. But it was just funny at the moment we were getting that delivered that we were also saying we didn't like it that much in the blind tasting. But there is another one. We have another one as well. Pull that one out. I don't know much about it. A little Springbank group. The 15 year is the one which is fully matured in sherry. Oh, that's whereas, color. whereas others tend to be a mix of some kind. I only very low ABV, very thick. Well, normal, normal ABV. Wow, Graham, it's 3 a.m. in Scotland. What are you doing up? M. Kotev. Hi, thanks for coming in. Watch the Isla Barley. Found the 2007 in a local store covered in dust. Very happy camper, as it was an old price of Australian 100. Oh, Alaran, you got a 2007. I've been searching for 2007s all week, and I think I found some. Oh! I think. But you know when you look online, sometimes they have the old picture, and then when it you actually talk to them, it's something else, but maybe. If you see a 2007, let me know. <laughs> uh... Blind tastes reveal all truths. Yes, whiskey histories, they do. Well, at least that Springbank 15 will be lovely. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's... Um, oh, yeah, what's the last one like? I think that is the most farmy, most mm. musty. So, I, I, I think it's the enormous, interesting explorer, but it's, yeah. This one is sherried. And is a bit different. Yeah, this one's heavily sherried. All right, I think it's time. Um, no, let's let's clear this out the way. Then we'll do bottle picks, which is the best one. Hmm. I think that is very Lovely. roomy. I think it's a bit under a farmy. It is exploring. And just tell me which one you like more. This one or this one? Okay. I think it's a bit yeah. A bit too short. Okay, that one is... I, I like it though. I, I like it. That one is the last little drop that we have of Craig Ellicky 13. Oh, it's 13. Because when we were talking oh. about Mortlach, we were saying, oh, it's a bit like Craig Ellicky, remember, because of the worm tubs? Ah, what is this? Oh, I haven't got there yet. Oh. So which one do you like out of these two then? We'll work our way through. Let me, uh, where shall I set them? They're going to be in the shot somewhere. Oh. I actually prefer them more than this one. I, I, I like this. Oh, so you think this one, you think this one is better? So this one's winning. Mm. And you want to say this one or this one again? Yeah, I mean. Okay, final decision, final decision. Too watery. Okay. Too thin. Too watery. Uh, yeah, no, but this. this one mm. is this one is better. Yeah. It's better than this one. Actually, because I got confused. I I prefer this more than this because this is more. But it's very thin to get out of the motor of this. It's the first part. It's the first second third. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 
Isla Barley 2007 in first place. This one is the Mortlack that you said was top 10. And I was like, I like it. I didn't know if it was top 10. So you're, you're saying it's not top 10, but it is ahead of the Craig Ellicke. Mm. Okay, have some sherry. That, by the way, is a sample. Oh no, I've forgotten to write down. Mm. Oh, it's from Ryan. This one is from Ryan. Wow, I love this very, very much. This is a 1997, 1997 Mortlach. Um, sherry cask, 53.3%. And this was a little bottle trade with uh, Ryan. Faultline, Faultling, Fault, Faultling. Is that an independent bottle name, Faultling, or the name of the bottle? Hmm. Uh, very, very, very unique. Oh yeah. It's, it's a deep, rich sherry. Now you don't normally um, go for sherry. I'm surprised. It's very sort of a smoky type of flavour. It has a nice depth to that sherry. That is lovely matured. Beautiful. Okay. I think, let me let me drop into the chat. Ah, blind tastes reveal all truths. Well, but they can be a different truth each day. <laughs> many is that free for me, many is that. Uh, let's see, where, where were we up to? Um, Tim thought the Springbank 15 was good. It's the Campbelltown Virtual Whiskey Fest. <laughs> yeah. Whiskey histories. Oh, you're dying laughing at us? Probably. I feel deeper, tough decisions. Absolutely dying laughing. Yeah, okay. Fault line is KNL's bottling. Ah, right. Nice. Hi, Eric. Just popped in. So I think, um, stop deeper drinking all the 2007 in case I haven't found any. Oh, that's good. I'm, 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 I'm buy this one. Okay, you have those. I'm a fit for how much? Oh, I don't know. It's an old one. Probably a bit expensive. How many years? Uh, 1997, but I don't know when it was bottled. 20 years. is. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, let me just bring something up. Um, after after the little Mortlac um, tasting last week, I went looking at K&L just to see if they had what Mortlacs they had. And I was amazed, this 1993, 26-year-old Mortlac, okay, it's not cheap, but what I was amazed at, when I checked the ABV, it was 60.5%. 60.5% on a 26-year-old. And uh, I've kind of got a bit obsessed with trying to work out, how's, how's that possible? And from what I understand, it's either been filled at a higher than normal ABV, normally the barrels are filled at 635 or it's been an exceptionally tight cask. Although having said that, it's a hogshead, which would be about 250 bottles and they only got 134 out of it. So that means the barrel is half empty, but somehow it stayed at 60.5%. People think of that. <laughs> Some of me are uh, looking for one piece or different location. Hmm, don't know. Eric's asking, why do you not like sherry casks? It's almost uh, overcooked. Flaffy, flaffy says, Ralphie says sherry overcoat. Bah. But no, he says sherry overcoat when he's talking about a whiskey that may not be that good. And so they dump it into a sherry bah. barrel at the last minute to try and give it an overcoat. But this one, I've, I've, I've already liked it. I approved. In general, we've, we're favoured the ex-bourbons and the sherry tends to dominate over the spirit or maybe we just like the ex-bourbon flavor more or but that was a good one definitely Alaron, uh let's see to have 60.5 there must have that must have been a brilliant cask yeah i don't know we got half an idiot all right blind bottle time uh Let's get some guesses in. I'm going to pick 10 bottles, or we've picked 10 bottles. For example, here's one. Craig Ellicky. Let's see, what camera should we try and jump to? Maybe this, you can get a little close up. Uh, Craig Ellicky. Oh, I'm gonna click on something by mistake. Craig Ellicky 17. We've just finished the 13, pretty much. 
and we have shared this with other people. But now I'm going to put it into the blind tasting. This one we bought relatively recently, just at the end of last year. It was $131 from Total Wine. And 46%. Uh, Love that Craig Gellicky. Not the same MV as a Torine. Yes, Craig Gellicky's are all 46, I think, as standard. Right, it's time for someone else to choose. We need 10 numbers from 1 to 25. The first 10 numbers that go in, so just type in a number and I'll go down the top, uh, the first 10 that come in and we'll pick like number 3, number 8, whatever it is going to be. So you go ahead and type while I'll show you another one I'm going to put in. Anok. 24. I don't know much about this. Anok is a bottle which is a relatively cheap whiskey in the UK. In fact, probably one of the cheapest 24s you can get at the moment. Although it's a bit pricey in the US. And the ABV is 46. Yeah. Um, 46 ABV. But it's a 24-year-old whiskey. But it's, um, it costs us a little over $200 here. But again, this one has been shared. We haven't tasted it yet, and it will be going in. It needs all 24 years. Okay, great. We have some numbers coming in. Let me uh, let me scroll up. Okay, just going to start. Stop the chat. Going to see if I bring the chat up. Are we going to see the right the right things? Okay, so the first number. I think we've probably got Melissa, enough now. Melissa, ten. Melissa is called in number ten. So that's going to be this one. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see what it is. Okay, Melissa, you have called in. Uh, let's see. This one. Let's start. Who gave? Who gave this? Oh, it's from Martin. We traded with Martin for this one, and this one is an Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, number eighty-five. 0.45. That doesn't really mean anything. First shot, ABV. It is an eight-year Glen Elgin. 61.8%. And um, it's a first fill ex-bourbon. Ooh, nice. Now this would be about a hundred dollar bottle. 61 ABV. 61. But that's what I'm saying. That 26-year Mortlach was 60. Melissa. Was 60.5. Right. Melissa's picked us a good one there. I'm 14, but Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth, number 14. If, actually, we can't tip it up because they'll all slide now. Okay. Elizabeth, what have you picked us? What's going to be going into the blind bottles? Of course, I should just say, going into the blind bottles means it could still be two years before it shows up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. This one was also from Martin. Oh, hang on. High West, a midwinter's night dram. Act one. And this is rye and port, I believe. Um, it's about a $95 bottle and just coming in under 50%. 49.3. Ooh, look at that. Port. Oh, hang on. What have I written down here? <laughs> oh, French oak. French oak port. Oh, Ibrahim, sorry, 14. Oh, Graham picked 14 as well. Great. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. You're both lined uh, up. No, no, Sims, Sims 13. Okay. Okay, you do James's. I'll Sims get 13. the next one of ours ready. Ooh. All right, uh, James, what does James picked us? It is. Oh, hang on, what is that? Sorry, wrong way. Oh, we've gone Japanese. Suntory Hakushu 12, uh, 12 year old, 43%. And this one came from our friend Sean in a trade. Um, single malt from Suntory Hakushu. Now, technically, technically we have tasted this because we tasted it in our Japanese blind lineup. I remember, I thought that in another try. So 
It's a bit of a cheap blind, but we won't remember it by the time that shows up. Yeah. Right. Hang on, one from me. Right, here's... Oh, I think we bought it over <laughs> here ago from a dirty shop. Scapa, the other... The other distillery on Orkney, alongside Highland Park. They used to make this Scapa 16. And um, we found this one in a dusty dusty corner of a little shop called Ernie's Liquor in Pacifica. And uh, I, I don't think he even had a price on it. It was one of those bottles where it was like, oh no, it does. It said $70 on it, which I knew was good already. I, he was like, um, he couldn't find it in the register. I said, would you take 55? He was like, sure. So we got that one for 55, I think it was. Right. In fact, I'll leave, I'll leave the other ones lined up behind, just in case you want to look. Yeah, you go ahead. That is from Aloran. Aloran has picked number nine. Oh, that you! <laughs> what is it? That is... Oh, it's Glendronach, 21 year old, the Parliament. This was bottled in 2018, which probably means this is not a 21 year old, but it's... 48! It's going to be more like a 24 or 25 year old bottle. And again, this one was in a trade with Sean. Fantastic. Who was that how one? How many more? Oh. So we pick how many more? Uh, ten in total. Okay, uh, lucky twenty-one. So five. Let's see. Uh, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one. Lucky. All right, lucky. Are you lucky? Let's see. It is. Rebel Yell, ten year. 50% single barrel. So it does a manigan. It is. I was about to shout bourbon, but it could be a rye for all I know. It's a bourbon, right? Rebel Yell. Um, what percentage is it? 50%? It's quite f- Mmm, $80 bottle. Fantastic. Right. How about this one? This is a Dalmore. A Dalmore like you've rarely seen. It's an independent bottle of Dalmore. And when you think of Dalmore, you don't typically think of that color, do you? But there you go. This is a Dalmore 14 year old and it is 46% from Old Provenance. So that one will be going in. Okay, next. Uh, Whiskey Histories is going for number eight. Oh, that, just, just. What have we got? It's come from our friend Scott. Oh, it's Edra Dower. Edra Dower. Edra Dour. 12. Uh, is it the Caledonia? Yeah. The one with the blue cross, you know, the Scottish flag, the blue cross. 46%. It's about a $90 bottle. That will be going in. Fantastic. Okay. Um, Right, Deepa still counting. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go on then. I think it's from two, uh, from Jimmy and uh, Joe. Jimmy and Joe? Oh, but, oh, but it's locked, but it's locked, 44. It's Canadian. Hey, Canada's in it's the, the house. It's the first time I've never, I've never tried. This is lot 40 cask strength. I've heard so much about it. Um, it's a Canadian rye isn't it? It's 11 years old. It's this, um, the second edition, I think, 2018. I know people have said this maybe isn't the absolute best of the lot 40s cask strength, but 58.4%. Uh, How bad can it be? Okay, now for a couple of um, independents, because we do love our independent bottles, don't we? Oh, can't read that, can you? Let's see. Maybe I'll just turn it sideways. Ben Rinnis. And it is a 21 year old from Old Malt Cask. 50% uh, ABV. That is going to be going in. Oh, 2007 battery. Oh, yummy. Fantastic. 
Okay, who's next? Nothing is back in the platform three. Number three. Oh, that's an interesting ticket. Oh, that is an interesting one. So it's from Sovereign. It's a campus, campus with a B. 26 year single grain from a refill hogshead. So 1988. Is anyone young enough to be uh, <laughs> to be born in 1988 here? Um, single grain, 48 um, percent. My turn, I think. We're in the world whiskey section. Irish. This one is Kinahan's 10 year old. And I don't know anything about it other than it's a 10 year Irish whiskey and it is. Can't even see the percentage. You get the next one ready. It's Irish. 46 ABV. Eight of them. Next one. Next one would be. Number Spurf. All right, what's this one? Oh, ABV very high, ABV. Oh, it's getting hard to reach the bottles. What are we seeing? Oh, it's a Glen Turret. It's a 12 year old, old particular. So it's another old particular, 62.3%. Wow, and this one is from Luis. Luis, maybe you're, you're lurking. Fantastic. I haven't been reading the chat properly. We'll come back and catch up in a minute. Okay, my turn. Does anybody know this one? Let's see, can I get it at the front? Anyone heard of Hellier's Road? 15 year, where's James? Is James in? <laughs> no, wait, yes, James is in. Come on, where are the Aussies? Hang on, is it New Zealand? No, this is Australian, right? I've, so we went to um, we went to Australia for a friend's wedding, and we bought this Hellier's Road 15 year old uh, at Dan Murphy's, and it cost 111 US dollars, and it is 46.2 percent. Oh yes, about you that Dan, it should be interesting. So maybe we'll have a little unusual. a little flashback memory when that one shows up. Mmm. Number 44, Jack. Don't forget 44. <laughs> There's only 25. Then, uh, the Eric, 23. <laughs> Deep has by oh, bypass. Oh, Eric. Eric, what have you picked? You have picked us Octomore 10, 56.8. And this one has come from Matt. Nice. Octomore 10, 56.8 percent. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more for me. Oh, oh Tim, Donna Pass. It's time that we put in the Bonahaven 18. That was the one from Reno's where you bought your, your 12 years. But anyone who knows a little bit about Bonahaven may recognize that this is the old label with the gold trim on the box and uh, looking forward to trying that one. Actually, Bonahaven 12 was one of our first whiskies as well. Mm. I'm probably going to get back with the sherry that is so good. <laughs> can you buy me this one? Uh, you're an independent woman. You can buy it yourself. <laughs> I heard I heard Roy mentioning Old Perth, and that that swung oh, the yeah, needle. Oh, yeah, it's and it's from Isle Park. Well, I think in the past Old Perth used to be a blended malt of Highland Park and Macallan, amongst others. I don't know what the current version is. I think it'd be hard to get a lot of Macallan and Highland Park to blend these days. But this was from Royal Mile Whiskies mm, in it Edinburgh. Stuff. It cost us $165 and uh, it's a 23 year old, I am, old Perth. I, I feel so grateful that you both are here. Yeah. Mm. Missing our so Scotland trip this year. the first time for us. My parents live in Scotland and um, not in Perth though. And we may not get to visit this year. 
before I pull up the last one, let me go over the chat. Oh, something something got blocked there. Uh, Whiskey Histories. I don't know why. I'll, I'll try and show it. Okay, let me scroll back up. I've been missing a whole bunch of chat. Single malt, turning Japanese. Okay, yeah, everyone's negotiating. I've never seen a dill, a dill, a dill more <laughs> like that. No, King Jack. That's why I bought it, because I really wanted to try. Um, I presume that's ex-bourbon. Um, how many bottles? It doesn't say. If I look harder, I'd probably find it. Let's see. So when can we come over? Yes, Eric. Eric wants to come over. Come. Well, actually, you can't come at the moment, can you? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're very welcome. Once, uh, once you're allowed. Uh, let's see. I wanted to try the lot forty, Melissa. Yeah. Well, you'll have to come over as well. People rave over the lot forty. Eric saying. Yes to Ben Rinnis from James. Uh, you must have a lot of old mum and pop stores in the area. Well, we have been scouring them over the last year or two. 1997. Elizabeth, what? I'm going back in the chat. I should bring the chat up, shouldn't I, so you can see what I'm looking at. You were born in 1997? <laughs> oh. Whiskey Histories is not far from 88. Nice. Whiskey Histories, yes, it is a varied bunch in here, isn't it? Uh, Lucky was having a great time in 88. <laughs> yeah, I was in college, I think, maybe. Oh, Tasmania for the, the Hellier's Road. Yes, that does sound right now. Cold up in Tasmania, right? Frosty, a bit more like Scotland, you know, from Australian standards. Uh, Glen Turret has just been sold on three months ago. Would be interesting to see how it improves. Oh, Alaran, you're saying that Glen Turret as a distillery was sold. Ah, yes, Octomore. Ooh, nice pick, Octo. Let's see. Oh, chat just jumped. Hang on. Oh, I see. King Jack was <laughs> supposed to be number four. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, no, no, no. Stop it, stop it. Stop. Let's let's put in another one. King Jack, here's your number four. Papa, but is that? This is number four. What? Oh, oh, okay. Or was it number three? Anyway, this one's yours, King Jack. You have picked us a Dalyuan 12 year, all particular at a lovely 57.6%. <laughs> there you go. And that one, that one looks like it's come from Scott. ABV 30 I 57. Yeah, that was from our friend Scott. Look at the mountain we're trying to fight over here. Um, let's see. Now that's that's a bottle. Oh, which one are you talking about, James? I missed it. Oh. Cheers. I think I've caught up. Eric is saying he loves the Craig Ellicky 13. Yeah, I bet that one is amazing. Okay, let's talk a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about Craig Ellicky 23. We have tasted it and it is fantastic. In America, you can buy that bottle for $230, expensive. But you know how much that costs in the UK? It's about 400 pounds, wow. making it double what you can buy it for in the US. And I'm wondering if there's a lot of bottles sitting pre-tariff and numbers are gonna catch up. So if anyone's in the US who thinks spending $230 on a grassy, sherried, lovely 23-year-old from Craig Ellicke, I would maybe go and buy one and that number might jump. Do we prefer that on split back? Hang on. Uh, oh, I don't know. Mm. Melissa, Phil, I think you should buy the whiskey that Deepa wants. I've heard she makes great brownies. <laughs> well, yeah, yes. Here's the thing: Deepa can buy whatever she wants yeah, but, to buy. Um, I'm not very good with the shopping online. You're very good at shopping online. True. Which one was it? Uh, oh yeah, the, the sherry. <laughs> Mortlach. The Mortlach sherry. A fault line. We'll have to look it up. Um, have we done enough damage? 35 minutes in. Oh, yes. Right. Melissa, I have to come over for brownies and whiskey. All right, people. Anybody want to pick one more before we go? <laughs> Let's see. Number one, two, five, 
6, 7, 11, 15, uh, 16, 19, 20, or 21, 22, 23. No, 22, 3, 4, 5. Go on, someone called one more out. Let's see, let's see if we can get one more in. But, but there are many interview. Not yet. Well, I haven't read all the others. <laughs> Have you opened that Craig Ellicky 17? You'll actually see, um, Eric, that a lot of these Seven are open. Them. A lot of them are open. And I was going to say, but we haven't tried it. But actually, if you look in our Japanese whiskey lineup, I sneaked in the Craig Ellicky 17 and the 23 as part of that lineup. And although it didn't make it to the final round, it was delicious, but the 23 was really good. Okay. I, I, must, I, I must for 17. It's about 125, sorry. I think. Okay, Graham's thrown one last one in. No, no, no. I need to stop before. Oh, sorry. Stop stop Graham. Deep is skipping you, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey history picked one as well, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> okay. okay uh, let's see. James is saying the twenty-three-year-old costs around eight hundred here in odds. I don't know why it's so cheap in the US. I don't understand what cheap. I mean, it's still two hundred and thirty, right? Number seven it's is two seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the last one before we go. Hope you like bourbon. Elijah Craig, 18, barrel number 4375, bottled in 17. And, uh, oh, where's the name? I've forgotten who we got this from. It would have been part of a trade. Jacob, this one's from Jacob. And uh, this is about a $175 bottle, mm. 45 ABV. Although I saw Mash and Drum, um, Mash and Drum was talking about the Craig Ellicky 18 and didn't like it that, that well. Oh, that's reminded me. Damn it. There's one more mis whiskey mail. Um, Sipper Social Club, Jeremy. You know Sipper Social Club? Sipper Social Club. Oh, sorry, Jeremy. Got your, got your card upside down. Apparently, I won a little competition. And Jeremy sent us three samples of his own home port mature experiments. So we have got Springbank 10, Octomore and Lagavulin 8. Let's see if we can get these in the picture. Where what he does, and you should go and watch his videos, it's fantastic stuff. If I get it lined up. So he takes Springbank 10 and puts it in a little mini desktop barrel which he has seasoned with port. The Octomore 27.1 is because there's multiple Octomores mixed in and Lagavulin 8 also port would finished. So I thought that would be fun. We'll have to come back and do a little Craig Ellicky Ralphie port roundup. And we've also got this port finish Glen Scotia um, that we picked up in our Warehouse tasting. So we might have to do a little, little port roundup. Oh. All right. Elijah Craig barrel proof 18. Controversial. <laughs> yeah, Graham. Mm, okay. James is saying it's a massive jump from the 17 to the 23. Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> Taste, yes, or, but dollars, it doesn't justify the dollars jump. But the American price, I think that is uh, doing well. Okay, everybody. Thank you for nerding along. Very nice. We don't even have anything to cheers with. Well, cheers with some water. Hope everyone is having a good time. <laughs> water is important as well. We'll see you on Thursday, where we will be picking up... Aki. Lucky is number 75, which may or may not be a bourbon. See you next time. Bye. Mm, water's nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>